Welcome back to episode number 40. How's everyone doing? Damn. Yo, Guys, we are 40. 40 episodes deep. What a blessing. Who would have thought? 40 episodes down, guys. I, uh, and how many more to go? I want to <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> shots, shots. Oh. <laughs> we need to have a conversation before we do the next yeah, but the, way, the, way, the way our social media is moving, I'm not, not too sure we've got too many left, man. For the listeners, if you haven't checked out our YouTube page, check out our YouTube page. <laughs> nah, mate, yeah. we don't. We can't even. Let's not even promote the YouTube page because that's a disgrace. I think we should just actually scrap that and focus on just an Instagram and then the, uh, the actual podcast. You know, you know, Instagram doesn't pay you. YouTube does. Yeah. But yeah, never I know, mind. But... <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Let's move on. Let's move yeah. on. We should jump on TikTok too. <laughs> Good. Actually, before we go into the episode. Olu, I just want to say a massive thank you and a shout out to all our listeners that shared their Spotify top listened podcasts, where we appeared in the charts for many of them. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, it was actually really nice to see that. I think with also with the last episode, we received lots of positive feedback around the goal setting and also the previous one around work life balance. So thank you, everyone, for the continued interaction. You've been with us now for 40 episodes. We're looking forward to the next 40, Daniel. And yeah, let's uh, let's see how it goes. Daniel, thank did, you. Daniel, did we did we receive any emails from Spotify telling us our ranking in like podcasts? Were we close to number one? Do you know, I, I think it's top I three. Need... Top three. I got an email. I need to. I'll, I'll log in and check. I didn't want to <laughs> log out my personal account. That's why. Okay. Top okay. Three. So as this is the final episode of the year, we wanted to end with a wrap up. So looking at the process of us putting together the podcast, talk yep. about some of our favorite episodes. Um, some of the funny lines during the episodes um, and then just go around and give some awards right so who's the best dressed <laughs> uh, is that a turtleneck that you got on sure yeah, yeah yeah they call me the uh, the Asian Steve Jobs but let's not let's not let's not focus on that let's okay. focus on this who's the funniest on the podcast who's got the best quotes just hand out some awards for the first year of building the podcast so Stay tuned and let's get started. Take off, take flight with you. For we never fly, but we're flying. So, guys, can you guys believe we're on episode number 40? <laughs> huh? I need, I need <laughs> And then you was getting on, then you was getting on. What? <laughs> then you was getting on. Then you was done with oh, the podcast. I don't know. <laughs> I've got the stats up for the Spotify, that's all. Oh, you know where we're ranked? Yeah. Where we're ranked. Top three, top three global. Top three global. <laughs> Whenever off record, I'll tell you. <laughs> this is where we need to get some merch. Amateur podcast. So let's start again. Okay, so... um. So, guys, can you believe we've reached episode number 40? Yeah. Yeah, I can. You can believe it? Do you remember where we started the first episode? When did we release the first episode? I think episode? we recorded it this time last year, no? It was the end of last year, but we released yeah. it at the beginning of this year. Mm, it took us a long time to release that first episode, right? Mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. So, actually, I look back and the first episode that we actually published and released out to the world was on the 30th of January. Mm. So the 30th of January was the first. Do you, do any of you guys remember the first yep. episode? That's the pilot. We had Brexit in there. Mate, <laughs> that was. Uh, I remember. I remember all of us were actually. Do you remember how many times we attempted to start that episode? How rusty and stiff everyone was, especially. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I used to get. I used to get like hot. I used to start sweating. Mate, P to... was get. P was getting like stage fright. I'd be like, P, do you need some water? <laughs> like the the throat was getting dry. P. Mate. So even even with our creation process, right? So <laughs> some of our listeners, I think our listeners know, right? But we are all in. So especially okay, now. Okay, okay, real quick, real quick, real quick. Yeah, I'm yeah. Awake, I'm awake. Um, someone, I love the feedback that we received on the first episode, which was based. Someone basically said to us, "You guys should stick to what you know." Who said about, that? Was that a Brexit topic? <laughs> that was a Brexit topic. <laughs> you know, but that's the crazy thing about it. This this podcast has put us outside of our comfort zone, right? And Brexit so, still ain't done. <laughs> and then, yeah, Brexit still hasn't been done. Wow. 
but this podcast has got us outside of our comfort zone because so for the listeners to understand sort of our process of how we create um an episode what normally happens and you guys should know right we're all in different locations so we got four different locations that we're recording from um i'm recording from london i'm not sure the rest of you guys want to so I'm, when we when I started the podcast, I was recording from Basel, Switzerland, and now I'm in Stockholm. <coughs> Pabilo yeah. in Switzerland. Switzerland, yeah. I'm I, I'm in the east of England. Exactly. So you can imagine just the logistic of trying to get everyone together, trying to record. We started on Skype. The sound quality, <laughs> <laughs> the sound quality was awful. Uh, like, and, and we all actually had uh, different microphones as well, right? We didn't have the one. I mean, the thing is, we didn't know any better. So at the time, it was it worked, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah, we were able to we were able to publish it, you know. Um, so yeah, we're using Skype to sort of record. Most of the time, we we're using iPhone um, headphones just to get the audio out. Now we've all purchased mics, um, and the way we normally worked was that. Every week, someone will have a topic. So mm-hmm. I remember when we first started, right? I wanted us to have a structure of we have a main topic, yeah, which would be something about growth. Then we have like a news section where it will be hot something topic. hot in the news, hot topic, hot topic or yeah. Brexit. And then we we'll go to the review. P was not a fan of hot topic. The amount this guy pushed back on hot topic, he was like, nah. No, but that's the, the reason why he didn't push he pushed back on hot topic is because he got rid of his TV. So he didn't know what was going on in the world. You know, he was just <laughs> <laughs> he was just isolated. So when we had to do when we had to do topics like Brexit and stuff like that, he had to go and do some research, buy a TV again, plug it in, find out what's actually going on around the world. But um, no, I think it was a crazy experience. Um, the work upfront work that comes into producing and creating an episode. Um, and just sharing that out with the rest of you guys. So why don't we go around and talk about what your favorite episode has been in terms of the 40. Yeah, I think, I think, oh, oh. go ahead. No, no, P, here you go. Yeah, go uh, ahead, P, go ahead. Yeah, I think one of my favorite episodes is, has been a recent one, which was around the restructuring. And the reason the reason why is because, uh, for one, we all, actually, we all have actually experienced um, that particular scenario. And I think it was also good because I think sometimes some of our listeners can perhaps get the impression that a lot of us are doing well um, and we haven't really sort of come up against um, some of the cha- some challenges. And I, I thought that that episode was probably one of was an eye-opening episode for, for our listeners because they thought, oh, these guys have actually gone through things which are quite tough and they're still able to speak on it in a positive way. So, um Hmm. That was a good one. I think, and I actually got a lot of feedback from that one as well. So that was good. So that was episode number 35, where we talked about job restructuring. And I think it was, like you mentioned, um, P, it was um, an opportunity for us to feel vulnerable, right? And open up about our experiences, which some people might think, oh, these guys have got this podcast, they're successful. They've never, <laughs> they've never been for restructuring. But the reality is we've all found our name on that, on that Excel sheet. <laughs> so, and Joe, Joe, I think was what was actually quite refreshing, and I think we've seen it in some of the social media posts and stuff. But all the episodes where we're actually much more vulnerable mm-hmm. and transparent about what's really going on, those are the episodes that tend to resonate a lot more as well. Or like it's a similar where on social media, I know Pabilo had a a post where he listed out his um pretty long list of failures um but then it will it resonated a lot with the audience and lots of stuff that's happened since then so uh yeah that's actually that's actually it's good that Pabila mentioned that episode because that's also a personal favor of mine you know that we moved away from um we moved away from sound effects because remember the first episode (laughs) me editing (laughs) i remember editing the first episode and i was putting so many sound effects like claps like, Mate, it sounded it was like you know Tom and Jerry the cartoon. I was like, "What yeah. is Olu doing with this?" And the feedback that I received when I said I was feeling myself when I was doing editing, I was like, "Yeah, oh, this little sound effect here, they're gonna love it." Sent it to the group. It was like, "Yo, yo, yo!" He <laughs> nah, he scrap, he <laughs> scrap that. I'm gonna remove those sound effects, but it's all a learning curve, right? It's all a learning Olu, curve. Olu, what was your what was your favorite episode? So, 
I'm stuck between two. So one is episode 20 where we're talking about mental health. Yeah. So that was a very vulnerable um, episode, right? Oh, I opened you, up. You in it? Not even just for me, so, but I could talk about myself personally. So that was an episode I opened up with the struggles of me moving back to London after traveling for a long period of time. And sort of where I was in my life, how I was yeah, feeling. That was, that, was, that was also eye opener for me as well as a friend. Yeah, yeah I was gonna, I was gonna say the exact same thing. It confirmed, I mean, it confirmed, it confirmed my assumptions. <laughs> the, the assumptions that you did oh, that you did nothing about. Oh. <laughs> what was the action part of your assumption? Normally, oh. you assume something and you have an action. You, you bounce back well, so that's good. Be just keep going. <laughs> 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 but no, so that was one where it was I think it was really very uh, eye opening. Um, I even had friends come over to me and say, "Oh shoot, I didn't even know you were going through that." Like, and then you can have more open conversations with your friends. I think as guys, a lot of times we were sort of told, you know what, man up, um, don't feel vulnerable. You can do this. You'll figure out, right? Yeah. And I think this podcast has allowed <laughs> this podcast has allowed us to have a space where we can share and express our feelings. And I think even on that episode, Shuel, you talked about your dad. Um, um, I, that's do you know that's a funny conversation that I've had people who I actually don't know very well ask me mm -hmm. about my dad, and I'm like, oh yeah, he's, he's actually all right. And then they're like, oh, I remember that time when you talked about on the podcast how you asked your dad to see a therapist, and he was like, I'm all good. And then how he went to go see him. And then uh, he came back after half an hour saying that he was completely fine. So, but yeah, that was a funny episode. So that was, so you said two though, Olu, that was one of them. What was the other one? So then the second one, um, episode is, is a recent one, episode number 38, um, around work-life balance. Um, did you, I, did, hopefully if people are listening there was a clip where Olu's retelling a story about when he's leaving the office at 1am that is one of the hilarious clips of the year I recently I recently um had a coffee with um Katya and she actually mentioned it and so it, it is something which maybe it's because also the soundbite as well but she was saying you know there was one one of the one of your friends like works until one and I was like yeah that's Olu and, <laughs> then, and then but it's interesting on what people remember yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and then, and I think it's, like you mentioned, it's what people remember, but also getting to understand our personalities and our voice. So, mm -hmm. for the listener that thought that Pabilo had that deep quote about balancing, mm -hmm. I think it was on that episode, like balancing three or four things. That was actually Olu, me. Yeah, yeah. Such a proud man. Such a proud man. And the thing is, she said even like she gets all she doesn't know who you speaking. Even mm -hmm. she won't even know it's me that's speaking or who. So she finds it very hard to put um, the voice to the to the point to the person. And that's when right. when yeah. um, Pabilo starts um, promoting that YouTube channel, people would then be able to put a face with a, <laughs> with a voice, right? Yo, I do. Daniel. <laughs> Daniel. Mm -hmm. So what about you, Daniel? Where's your episode? What episode oh, you like? oh, you're asking me. I thought you were telling. I thought you were calling me. Um, <laughs> my, um, I think, oh, my favorite probably is the toxic, um, uh, work toxic masculinity. <laughs> no work life <laughs> balance. <laughs> but it is. I was gonna say work life balance, but only took that. So mine was yeah, episode fourteen. What um, toxic yeah, masculinity? Cool. Because mm. I think because even from a male perspective, when researching, you you kind Ooh. of you fall into the trap of understanding what it is and even common traits that you might subconsciously do or say. And I really liked what Terry Crews, how he was in the One uh, one Young World, was um, yeah, vulnerable yeah, yeah. and shared his story. And, you know, you think of Terry Crews as, you know, when you look at him, his his physique, you don't think he's someone who could have gone through such things. But it goes, that leads on to the mental health when I think when, you know, being vulnerable, I'm not saying you'd be a wimp and be a pushover, but understanding that we also do have emotions and we need to be cognizant of how we respond to things and how we say things to people as well. And also when you think about raising the next generation, who don't, you know, something, you see, something that can be common to say is like, are you a man or a mouse? Or, you know, are you a man or a boy? Like fix up, you're a man up. Like, so it's so common to just man up, but 
and you often disregard someone's feelings because, for example, a young boy falling over, hurting themselves, you just say, oh, just go up, man up. But they could have actually really hurt themselves. So that, that was one. And I think the feedback we got from it was good because also being on a, a quartet of four males and talking from a point of toxic masculinity and what it actually yeah, means. Powerful. I think it was educational for, for us, but also for our listeners too. Actually, P, on that topic, say if Karim fell over and he was crying, would you tell him what you're crying for, Gout? What would you say? Uh, I mean, it depends. It's, it's also the age as well, but... I'm not, I wouldn't be so inclined to say, just get up, stop crying. I mean, there would be a, no, nah, I wouldn't necessarily, that wouldn't be my first go-to move. <laughs> but, uh, I think I'll just try to talk him, i just try to sort of, you know, perhaps explain the process of when you fall down, pick yourself back up, dust yourself off, keep going again. It's, gonna, it's going to hurt, but keep pushing. Something along those lines. So more just turn everything into conversation and, and then dialogue. Hmm. Um. Uh yeah, so uh, what so what other sort of um round table discussion do you want to do with this as well? Because I've I've got one as well. I've got I've got why don't we all why don't we all do maybe our most not embarrassing but um <laughs> our most memorable not, moments memorable. Well, firstly the burning in it. So everybody, so our listeners, our listeners know that um as part of as we obviously take it in turns to set the agenda, but in also in setting the agenda, we also have to uh have a book review. <laughs> And so, <laughs> and we so should... yeah, and go so, ahead, Pete. Um, I remember, I remember, I remember when when I when I set the agenda. Um, one one thing, one thing I will say is quite interesting. When you set the agenda, you tend to take a lot more time to prepare and care for that episode mm. versus when when it's not your episode. But that's one thing. And so, then it was my turn to do the book review that evening, and it was the book. It was called Rest. <laughs> <laughs> It was, and and the thing about it, so I thought to myself, okay, let me just try and do a brief, a brief summary, of, brief with a capital B, a brief summary of this book, and let me just try and skate past um, and end the episode. And obviously, <laughs> um, of the of the three guys, Olu, Daniel, and Shuo, there's only one guy in particular that would can't wait to sort of pounce. When he realized, actually, P- Pabila, you haven't actually reviewed this book, have you? In fact, I don't think you even read the book. <laughs> so that's this like, guy always, he's, yeah, he's, he's literally, he's sat in the corner watching uh, P wait to wait, the, wait, the, wait, the, wait. The thing was so bad is that, is that it, um, instead of helping, no, actually, I'm not going to lie, you didn't help me. You didn't help me. <laughs> I, did, I did help you. He was <laughs> trying to, what he did realize is when he realized, oh, snap, like he's actually shaking right now. You know what? Let me make it work. <laughs> So he said, "Oh, is it P? So, um, so what else happened in that book? Okay, Bruv, I was so hot. That, that for me was was a burning. Like the thing, I'm not gonna lie to you. I felt like I felt like DJ Envy when he had an interview with Damon Dash, and they just oh, stopped. Yeah. It. <laughs> it was you know, burning me. And the reason uh, I was burning me is because I think I could. I remember you uh, sweating actually. The reason why I was burning me is because I I let." Off and you guys down because I should have I should have I should have basically reviewed it better and delivered it, delivered a much better review. But at the same time, I was like, the one moment where I tried to just skip past, Oli was like, "No, nope. <laughs> I am the book review police. I'm gonna catch you guys." You know yeah, what's so funny about that? I remember it like it was yesterday because I think you I I kept quiet for good good two minutes. I was oh, just this, listening. Is, this is why it was bad. This is why it was bad. This is you. This is you. This is you. This is you. You was watching yeah, like this. I was like. And you were like this, <laughs> and then, <laughs> then you finished. I think the issue was that you finished after like two minutes here, and I was like, "Wait, wait, wait!" Was the book about just telling us how important it is to rest? Is that it? <laughs> I think it was just like, "Is that it?" And it was like, "Anything else is telling you apart from just." I think. I think, what, I think what was the good thing is that what I learned actually from that was I had to redo. So I had to find the structure in how I and how I done a book review. Because mm-hmm. what I did actually for that one, I, I went over the, the lines that I had kind of underlined. Mm-hmm. But then you have to put it together to be able to explain. So in the end, although I was burning for two, three weeks, at least I, I learned that uh, in order to deliver a structured review, you need to really give it some, some thought and not just go over the lines you kind of underlined. But I think, I think that time, every that... episode, I think there's been episodes where there's been one of us that hasn't been prepared. I think not just only you. Oh, yeah, of course. But every, every single one of us have gone into episode maybe... 
Nobody else called each other out apart from that one. Yeah, that's no, the thing. No, you no. know, after after seeing Olu treat Pabilo with such disrespect, I needed to make sure that after every episode, if it was my turn to do a book review and I hadn't prepared, I told Olu straight up beforehand, bro, let me just do this book review and don't ask me any questions. It's it's a it's a short one. Exactly. That's, that's how that's... much fear Olu put into my heart. No, like, no, you say that, you say that, but you're the one that came to one of the book reviews of a journal. And I remember oh, Daniel's, yeah, reaction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember but Daniel's a, reaction to but that. A, but that's a, solid, that's a solid product. That's a solid product. No, I, solid think, product. I, think, I think what's interesting, that, Daniel, what's probably been your most burning moment? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be recently, no? Yeah, yeah. when you, you tried to get me on the, um, on the goal. I didn't, post, try, I didn't try to get you. Only tried to get you. <laughs> no. But you could it out. On the wall, you on the wall, no, 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 no. on the wall. On the football analogy. The football analogy. The goal Daniel, post. Listen, Daniel, yeah. I owe you an apology. That was going Daniel, sour. Hold up, hold up. Daniel, yeah. I owe you an apology. Yeah. You what? So I missed that bit. What are you saying? I owe you an apology. And what I tell you what. What about mine? What is this, yeah? <laughs> I can't remember. I think she well edited the soundbite, yeah? And I listened to it again, yeah? And it was actually a dope... Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. That's not. It was, no, no. it was, it was dope. But the way that you was starting to sort of crack, oh my god, Olu was ready. Olu was like, because I listened to it again, I listened to it again, and I was like, oh shoot, this is, this is solid. It was a solid quote, and I, I can hold my hand up, up and say apologies. It was a, but did you the middle part? You were a little rough. Did you listen to my book review again? Ap- on, apology on accepted. After, huh? What <laughs> did I, I, <laughs> Daniel on me? Sorry, go on. Go on nah, so did I li- read the listen to your book review on rest again? Same way, same way you listened to Daniel's and you thought it was good after. When you listened back to the episode <laughs> where I did the, the rest uh book review, did you think it was better than what it was like in lifetime? Well, put it this way, you also didn't make a sound bite. <laughs> I think I think at that time Pabila was the guy responsible for the sound <laughs> bite. So and he, and he, uh, and he Pete, didn't do it. Pete, it was, your book review was so good, yeah. I didn't even need to buy the book. Like I, just, it was like I knew what it was about. <laughs> but Daniel, but Daniel, Daniel, were you going to refer to that moment, or were you going to refer to another one? No, that was the one I was going to refer to. No, that's okay. the only one. That's the only one. To be honest, and, and on, on that note, Daniel is a pretty clean guy as well. That's why I probably have to give him the awards for the best quotes. Mm. Yeah, I think. If I you, agree. Well, what's your most embarrassing? And then we'll go around to the awards. The number one alcoholic. Most um, <laughs> most <laughs> embarrassing. Wait, I don't think anyone on this podcast drinks. Um, what's the most embarrassing? I can't think of the most embarrassing to be. Nobody honest. on this podcast drinks. <laughs> <laughs> you know the funny bit about it. Second delay. Uh, like, that's true. <laughs> but you had the you had the um. I think my favorite episode was the one episode twelve. You know when. We had to kind of reflect on starting the podcast and the ups and downs and Olu's emotional turmoil and when Olu got yeah, super Olu pissed like off and he was putting he was putting the friendship on the line. He was like, guys, I don't know oh. if we should if we if we carry this on, I don't know if we can be friends no, anymore. No, to, like, to this, Boy! Yeah, to this day I, I asked myself, was that passion or was that just a misbehaved guy? It was just I don't know, <laughs> like passion. You wouldn't know what passion is to know what I feel. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's probably that was probably the, the, you're, the, you're, the second, you're the second person that has told me I don't have passion. <laughs> who's the first? Lauren. Lauren. No, come on, come on. Come uh, okay. on. Who's the first? Who's the first? Who's the first? Too many shots in this episode. <laughs> no, I, was, I legit thought as a no, joke. I got, she yo, said I got to talk. I got to talk to you after the podcast, my brother. Yo, <laughs> that was a low blow, cousin. You get me? <laughs> Yo, we might have to pause this right now, B. What's going on? Is everything cool? <laughs> she, she was. Wait, no, I, I literally said that. No, I'm playing, I'm playing. Who, who, I'm was, playing, the, who I'm playing. was the other one? I'm playing. Who was the other one? Nah, nah, nah I'm not going to mention names on the podcast, innit? Oh, I think I know. Your manager. Daniel, I've got one about you, in fact. Then we, oh, 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 he was your manager. You what, huh? <laughs> nah, come on, bro. What was your manager? Oh, um, <laughs> Daniel, we talking about? I said, no, I was going to say, was it your manager? But no passion. Actually, that's the third person. Actually, to be honest, <laughs> the third person. So he's racking up, he. Yeah, he he actually had a he had a recent we had a we had a sit down recently, and he's trying to he's trying to sort of re- the fire. get me yeah reignite my fire at work and get me engaged because you know, you know why that is. 
No, he knows. He knows. He knows. Outside, you're building. You're building, you're building stuff outside. That's why. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's. Um, I, I think maybe we can actually put that for another episode. How you, how do you basically maintain a great attitude at work, still be engaged when when you know that your future lies elsewhere? Mm. It's a very tough one as well. And he also knows that I'm like 200% on family. Mm -hmm. Daniel, Daniel, there was one that someone, a listener actually called called me up and he was like, yo, you need to talk to Daniel, bro. Like, he's going cinema to sleep? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Why why don't we do this? Why don't we also share, sorry, just to interject, why don't we share the feedback that we've received on each other that we probably haven't shared with each other yet until now? Um, The feedback I I received was, um, why does Olu sound like he's so angry all the time? (laughs) (laughs) Hey, 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 stop it, stop it. He's passionate. I'm going home, I'm going home. He's passionate. I'm going home. Hey, is that feedback from you? No, no, no. Um, hey, listen, listen, I'm being I'm being dead serious. I'm being dead serious. I'm being dead serious. Okay? Oh, I'm not so I'm I'm being dead serious. Was that it? Yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh my god. Oh my god. You are, oh, he made that worse. Hey, stop it. You are, <laughs> Oh, you are? Oh, yo, you know, that's, your turn. Face. that's yo, it. That's it, B. Oh. That's it. Was that payback for the money? Was that no, 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 no. They don't pay back for nothing. I'm being this serious. Cool, cool. When I said that, when I heard that, I said, what? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Wait, does this, per- wait, does this person know Olu though? No, nah, just, for, just from, just from um, the listening to the podcast. So actually, one okay. overwhelming. Sure, it's the feedback from me. The feedback. Who's <laughs> 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 about to sign up? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, wait, wait, exactly. okay. Even though it's this one you're saying is not, do you have anything feedback for Olu? Yeah, the same, I've heard, I've heard feedback about all of you guys. Okay, so oh, why shit, you start yeah. Olu first? Since we're on that topic. No, <laughs> um, <laughs> no, nah, nah, but the one that I want to say, the one that I want to say is the fact that some people, some of the listeners that we have. Before we started doing the videos, they didn't actually know or they weren't really aware that we were recording from four different locations. Mm -hmm. So I know someone that started listening to our episodes on like episode 20. And then she thought that we were all actually in the same room recording the whole time. And we were just in a room having a conversation with each other. What's the feedback though? (laughs) Huh? (laughs) That's a comment. Yeah, that's that's a feedback. Yeah, overall good good vibes, good conversations. Well, that's next. Um, Guys, Daniel, Daniel, come on. Next. Daniel, give one. Oli, Oli's your turn. No, I think you had more feedback. Oh, I thought you meant yeah, I thought you meant you had specifics for each. Yeah, do you have a specific? That's what. Let me get that on Instagram all the time. All right, cool. Ollie. Ollie, what's, Ollie, what's yours? Ollie's just <laughs> locked and loaded. Don't make it up. Don't make it up. Let me clear this up. <laughs> don't make <laughs> it up. No, um... Uh, <laughs> I received. Well, feedback have I received. That one I, that one I keep. Um, I've received some positive feedbacks. Feedback about everyone on the podcast. Um, think Pabilo... They said um, how funny. They didn't realize how funny Pabila was. Um, at university, he used to be very serious, serious all the time. On the podcast, you get to see and feel more of his personality. And he's a very funny guy. Um, and Daniel, it was just in regards to his quotes, right? Um, very deep, thought-provoking quotes. Um, um, maybe a little too many in an episode, but... Apart that's from your, that, you, you added that bit yourself, but carry on. No, that's what that's the feedback. I'm, I'm, there, was no ne- there was no negative feedback. Okay. I, I, I feel like Daniel and Pibilo had a lot to get off their chest. I were expecting no, 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 negative, no, no. but there was no negative I'm feedback. Just, I'm I'm just, I'm I'm you know, finish. No, what I said was, was negative, you know, was both of them sounded negative, but yeah, cool. yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay, okay. Uh, go on. Um, um, what was she saying, Olu? No, that was, that was the two, that was the two feedback. There's nothing negative. Bro, nothing open. about me, nah. Oh no, she will. Oh no, she will already knows. They were like, "Who's that handsome guy um, on the podcast?" Remember the keep that offline. Keep that offline. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's similar to Daniel, right? He says she will makes it known that he's 
single. I'm okay to say that. Do I do I really make that known? I don't would know. Be, am I, am I... Anyone be upset with you hearing that you're single? No, nah, but I'm yeah. not. No, nah, but I'm just saying. I didn't. I didn't okay. realize that I sound so single when I talk. We need to. We need to balance out a bit. So P and P and Daniel to close. Have you heard any? Is there any positive? Any yeah, positive yeah. I, 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 I heard, yeah, I do hear um, positive feedback. Yeah. Um, one that's not written down um, via Instagram. People, someone shared with me said, "Oh, they like the vibe that we have, and it's just it's nice to see kind of that we gel and share contrasting thoughts and ideas, and we're not afraid to kind of disagree with each other and yeah. you know speak about the disagreements and why we don't necessarily see eye to eye with things." They also mm -hmm. like the format and you know certain topics they do really enjoy because they find it quite educational and it does help some of them in navigating through you know their life, especially the work life balance, which yeah. I shared with you was a friend of mine who had suggested a topic and they're going through a situation where they're working long hours, like 12 hour days um, mm. as a norm. Plus they want to start the MBA next year. Also have a duty to, you know, be around the family to look after, you know, um, their mum, but also strive and continue to, to progress in the ladder at work while studying yeah. for an MBA. Where's the time to do other things? Feels like the time just spent between either home work and then or be studies as well so they really found our thoughts very very interesting and they, they you know they concluded said oh as we've got older it sounds like we've been able to find that right balance and it's funny because she she told me oh she's going to the to the cinema she's having me time and she said she got that obviously from the podcast just learning just to take time out and just do things by herself Daniel, on that, by the way, one of a good, good, good friend of mine who's actually from Nigeria and based in Lagos, he messaged me after that episode. And then he was like, I am so glad to hear that Daniel goes to the cinema on his own because I've been doing that for a while and I thought I was the only one. That was and, in Lagos. And I'll tell you what, if you haven't tried it, it's really good. I think it's good as long as you're watching the movie and not just going there to sleep. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's my intention. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was on mute. I was going to say, is it a Nigerian thing? <laughs> Yeah, nah. I don't know. Very, Shout out very, to Kumbo, by the way. If, if, he's, very if, he, if, if, if you're listening up to this episode, <laughs> shout out to Kumbo, my brother from Lagos. Cool. Cool. Uh, um, how we, how we, uh, how we going to wrap feedback, this? Feedback from oh. my side, actually, uh, since we're since we're dishing out feedback. Um, no, actually, I think we had an episode where we gave each other feedback, right? Or we actually had an no, episode. No, we gave we... each other feedback, but we didn't yeah, share feedback from that's others. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, what else? What else did you want to cover, Olu? Uh, no, that was I was going to wrap up. Best of the, okay, cool. I would just say, by the way, so positive feedback that I've heard. Um, similar, they thought Pabila was super serious, and they actually realized that um, he's actually got a decent sense of humor. Um, you know what's interesting about that, yeah? Just really yeah. quick <laughs> is um, you guys, especially Leslie. Mm, Shout out, Les. Makes me makes me wonder now. Actually, how how do I present myself? Um, Mate, P, I'm not gonna lie. When I met you, you were like the most serious person ever. I was like, does serious. this guy even smile or laugh? I have no serious. idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, and I, and I think this is consistent feedback, probably outside of thing as well. I think unless of, uh... you get to, unless you know Pabilo, yeah, you know he's like the complete. But I would I would say I would do you say think I'm coming across. You think I'm coming compared across... to 2012 when yeah. I first met to when I know you you first meet other people now, yeah. I think you've definitely become a lot more relaxed. I hope so. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, you have. You um, have. but do you, real quick, do you think it's do you think I'm serious what? because I'm standoffish? <laughs> 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 do you think I'm trying to have a little mediation? Yeah, I was thinking, bro. This guy's like, no. Nah. This town next, mate. This town next, mate. You think I'm your therapist, bro? It's just a jumper. <laughs> what well, one question? Do you think yeah. I'm coming? Up... <laughs> Do you think I'm serious because I'm trying to come across come across standoffish, or I'm serious about work, or or what do you think it is? I don't How even is... think it's either. Is it? <laughs> it's it's definitely not because you're serious about work. And... <laughs> you, the thing is. The thing is, do you think is it come across like an un unhappy series? No, 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 no. The way, the way that, the way that I see it, especially yo, 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 yo. you come, Talk you come across as more. I would say this more. Is not, <laughs> this is not the I would time. actually say you come across as more professional when you meet people. 
even outside of work, you come across as if you're being very professional oh. back then. Now, oh. from what I've seen, I feel like you're a lot more yourself and you're a lot more relaxed, but there's still that serious but soft edge. I would I would say it's come from it comes from a more you're being observant. So you're usually it's as though you're you're calculating or measuring the person, like you're you're just observing and analyzing the person before mm. you engage in any deep conversation. So I, I, I recall from like at university days, you just be standing on the side and you'd be looking. <laughs> but it's almost like it's almost like you're analyzing. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. It's just like you're analyzing, thinking. You're just watching the person to kind of see what kind of person they are. You would think he was analyzing, but he's not. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's simple. Well, you, 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 no, it's more, I think you do it more as a protective. You don't like too many people in your business. So because of the fact that you don't like so many people in your business or what you're doing, you're very guarded when you interact with people and you have a very cutthroat sort of... Um, no, no, I'll tell you why it's analyzing. Pete, you remember that time in Geneva? And we're standing outside, you're like this. And that guy comes up to you, caught you off guard. You remember? No, 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 no. Yeah, what did he do, Danny? What did he do? You do when I poke me in my stomach? Yeah. Because well, you're standing. You're, you're standing you're, you're like, yeah, but observing. this this has this has nothing to do. This has nothing to do. No, with, but that's, oh, no, no, but, that's but that's that's how you're serious. You, you look okay, no, no, no. But the, okay, but no, but that that situation there. Listen, we we've all done it, right? Whenever we're outside a rave or a club, mm. every put everybody puts on the front a face just to or sort of belly. hold their position, yeah. So I'm. So the thing is, but what I love about this guy is he kind of caught my bluff. So I'm standing outside this club, and I'm waiting. I'm waiting for you and Nick to come out. And um, I'm wearing this. I'm wearing a black T-shirt, yeah. <laughs> and I'm just standing there, and it must have been the, my but posture. But P, P, I think is I wasn't there, but I heard that you weren't just standing there, but you were relaxed. No, no, no. Have you seen I was just posted up. Our back was the I just temp- posted up. The guy, stomach. the guy, the guy's walking like this, yeah. And I'm thinking, all right, walking, and he just does this. He just, he just pokes my stomach as if to say, bro. Need to go to the gym, cuz don't try it. And I and then he smiled and walked off. Yeah. And the thing about it, he doesn't speak English, but I, I just still, knew. I still remember what he looks like. It was like guys, guys who go to the gym know what that means. Yo, you gotta work on your stomach, bro. That's it. Work and I was call. like, all right, cool, cool. How did we even go to that story, by the way? Because I saw them observing and being serious. Yeah, no, I, think, so I think I'm just. Yeah, I think I'm just checking to see. I don't. I don't think it is. I think it's good to be serious. I'm just checking to see if it comes across as un- unhappy because that's not cool. No, nah, so I think the vibe was more. I think when when that person had mentioned that feedback, she had seen you as a more serious in a serious setting, but now because of the podcast, she's realised that actually your good sense of humour, everything's cool. Daniel, so the man with the <laughs> with the quotes, everything's cool. Okay, yeah. Daniel, the man with the quotes. Um, not a man of many words, but when he does speak, he tries to make it count. Yeah, when um, he, because he's because he's not even he's sleeping half the time. That's why. Yeah, mate, this guy's always tired, man. I don't know. The, the, that was one oh, feedback I received. I tried, I tried, I tried, is it? Is it? Like, I'll, 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 I'll speak on it. I'll speak on it. I'll speak on it. I've got something to share. I've got something to share. I've got something important about one of my health episodes. Another update on your back. No, come on, Olu. No, no, no. This one. This one. No, this one too. So this one relates to my tiredness. So. And it's actually been for years, which I just ignored it. So I, um, maybe about four or five years ago, I had a blood test and I got told, oh, my vitamin D count was low. Mm. And I thought, oh, it's cool. It's whatever. And the, the nurse prescribed me some vitamin D um, supplements, um, not over the counter, but to, um, a prescription. Yeah. And I didn't bother. I thought, you know, I, I can't bother to go to the pharmacist. I left it. But it was only, what, um, October, September, yeah, October. I went for another vitamin D test. I went for another blood test because I was concerned. Why am I always feeling tired? I was sleeping on the train to work. I was like nodding off at work. And on the way home, I was sleeping. So I got my results. And recording the podcast. Yeah, and my, my, I got my results. And my vitamin D was borderline, um, what was the word? Like it was, it was really bad. It was very, very bad that I had to get um, supplements because I think the normal count, the when it's insufficient, it's 25 and below, and I was about 27. The normal mm. range is 50 plus, mm. and I was at 27. So I got the vitamin D supplements, and I just finished my course two weeks because it's a seven, eight-week course. 
and I'm yeah. starting to improve a bit better. But I had you another know, blood you... test to, to yeah. find out what it is now, but they said it's still low, but I should supplement it with over the counter vitamin D tablets. Do you feel do you feel like your energy's gone up since taking the at, at first when I started the course I felt the same, but it was about mm. week four. I started to feel an improvement that I had more energy, but it was it was very, very low. So it wasn't like the last time we recorded or the last two episodes. Yeah, what it, it, was, yeah, it, was, it was it was because I finished the course just before I went to the stage. Mm. How, how about your iron how about your iron levels? Are they good? Oh iron's fine. It was just it was just vitamin D. Dr. P. Any any other recommendation, P? Anything else you should check based on your vast experience and knowledge? <laughs> Honestly, hey, my, hey, my dad's my dad's a doctor, man. Don't disrespect me. You know I mean? <laughs> because your dad's a doctor. Yeah, dad's a doctor, doctor, doctor man, bro. You're a doctor. <laughs> I'm oh, a pilot. I can fly this plane. <laughs> this guy, bro. Why are you sending shots, man? Right, guys. All right, cool. That feedback, that feedback hurt you, innit? Yeah, Harry, Harry, and and Oli, I was just gonna finish because I didn't get around to you. Oli, I was told. Great host, good energy. Sometimes, yes, a bit loud, but maybe that's because of the way that the audio was recorded. Oh, no, no very, the other feedback that I got. Very good energy and a good host. <laughs> Thank you, Shua. The, the, the other... <laughs> the other was about to... Well, no, 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 real quick. The other feedback was um, the book review is too long and usually people kind of switch off. That's P's feedback. That P, that's ooh, your ooh, feedback. Ooh, that's ooh, your ooh, feedback. Ooh, that's your feedback. Ooh, that's your ooh, feedback. Ooh, I can tell. Else, that's your anyone, feedback. Anyone else, P? Huh? Anything else? Yeah, I think okay, well, I'll call you, you I've after. Got, I've, got, I've, got, I've got one last piece. They said that, um, what was it? They said one of us should have their own podcast, actually. They said they were thinking. Go on, go on. Me. Mate, I'm telling you, I'm joking. Go on. Is it? No, I'm joking. I made that one up. I'm sure we're going to see that in 2020. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me. Are we then we're gonna do podcasts on drinks. Yeah. Huh? Beverages. We're gonna do podcasts on. Don't worry. There's a market for what I want to do. And the feedback that I've received is that I'm a great host. I bring you all together, like pulling the topics, bringing in the right direction, etc. I, I like this. I agree. There's this I agree. One second. There's this quote by Mar Mario Balotelli who says, "The postman doesn't get um." Uh, congratulate for delivering the post. So you're just doing your job, bro. Continue to do that. Well done. For the people, for the people that are listening to episode number thirty nine, or try to listen to episode thirty nine, <laughs> that post wasn't delivered because someone forgot to upload it on time. Yes. <laughs> what happens when the postman doesn't deliver? What happens when the postman get fired? To... <laughs> Does he get fired? So you want to talk about you want to talk about roles? We need to talk about roles and responsibility. You want to talk about quality? You want to talk about quality of roles? Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at another person still. What's again? I'm, I'm, can I turn my head in that direction? Yeah, no, that way. It's that way. It's that way. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about quality of roles. Sure, why don't you wrap up? Hey, Daniel, hang on. why don't you end the episode with what, what you mentioned in the group chat today about what is it about the leaders' visions and nightmare? Oh, yeah, because you remember that yeah, what, time. What were you I trying said... to say? No, no, because you remember that episode when we said, um, yeah, but what were you, 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 you trying to say though? I was if you let me get to my point, if you let me land, you know when I said oh great minds think alike, but um um whatever the, the rest of it, you know, like Jack of all um Jack of all trades, master of none, blah blah blah. Yeah. So that was one of those ones where when people say teamwork teamwork makes the dream work, but a vision becomes a nightmare when the leader has a dream and a bad team. That was it. But someone took it to heart. Who was that person? Oh, but you wasn't trying to send a shot. No, bro, I wasn't. Oh, you should have I wasn't sent. Oh, I wasn't sending any shots. It was just a continuation that like we say Jack of all trades, master of none. Blah blah blah. Okay. Cool. Sure. Right, perfect, guys. So episode forty in the bag. Yeah, it was a very um, good episode. Thank... Really enjoyed it. Thank you, guys. Uh, no, 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 no. This is not your role. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like. Nah, B, if you episode go, one. Episode one. Episode one. Episode one. When this guy didn't talk, now he wants to all oh, close up and everything. No, 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 no. She will. Is the closer. Uh, guys, thank you so much for taking time out to listen to episode forty. Um, please subscribe on whichever platform you're listening to. Uh, tag us in your stories when you're listening to us. If there's anything that you agree with, let us know. If there's anything that you disagree with, then let us know as well. We are happy to listen to both points. And yeah, thank you for listening, for subscribing, and have a good weekend. Happy Friday. Happy New and Year. Have a great, great year. year. Happy Ooh, New Year. Happy New Year. Happy See you in 2020, people. 2020. Yeah. See you in 2020. Started.
take off, take flight.